Hey guys, Chris Reiber here. Today's Castle Quick Tip I'm bringing you talks about the tail end series of ESCs from Castle with the Mikado V Control Radio. So I get asked on forums all the time, how do I set up and calibrate my tail end series of ESCs with the Mikado V Control Radio? We're going to cover that today. Um, what a lot of people don't understand is that a Castle ESC comes from the factory in airplane mode. You also need to program the ESC and you also need to calibrate it to whatever radio system you're using before you can actually fly. Um, a lot of people get frustrated and call me and say, it's programmed, it won't spool up when I take out throttle hold, it won't arm the radio. That's because you guys have not calibrated ESC. It's very simple, a couple easy steps. We're going to cover that. Um, if you're using a NEO, you're going to need uh, obviously an external battery. The talents have a built in BEC but we need to be in the setup menu on the NEO before we can even uh, send a signal wire from the ESC to the NEO. So get yourself a backup battery. I like using the, the Scorpion backup guard. It's 5.5 volts. You don't need to worry about frying servos if they're not high voltage. So guys, get yourself a backup battery source, get your ESC programmed, and then let's move on to the calibration setup with the Castle Talon series of ESCs along with the Mikado V-Control NEO. Hey guys, let's move on to the calibration setup of this quick tip. So first thing you want to do, make sure throttle holds turned on. Turn on your radio. Next, you're also going to want to power up the NEO. Let it initialize and connect. Alright, once that's done, we're going to go into the menu here. We're going to scroll down to model setup. We're going to go down to governor. Make sure you're already in external governor, that is Castle Gov. Again, the, the tail and series have the built in BC and governor. So we're going to hit exit. Next, endpoints. Uh, to prevent spooling up, yes. So you can either unplug one of your motor leads, or what I do is I just take the blades off the helicopter when I'm doing the calibration to be safe. So you're going to go OK. We're, we're going to take our endpoints, bring them both down to 40. I'm going to go high, go down to 40. All right, so there's our lowest stick end points. Next, we're going to want to go to full throttle, plug in our ESC lead now from the tail end. All right, so now we're listening for a series of beeps. We're going to scroll high up. I go pretty fast, so I get around 80 or 90, and then I start slowing down. And we're listening for our first series of beeps. All right, go two more clicks. That is our high. Take the throttle. All the way down. Same thing. We're going to move this up until we get to our low limit. more clicks and we're done so we've calibrated the ESC but before we go fly one thing we want to do is we want to go back up to governor right here ESC output this is the same if you're using like spectrum JR um, some radio with a linear throttle curve you always set the radio you always set up the calibration in a linear throttle curve 0 25 50 75 100 uh, V bar uses 40 50, 60. Uh, what the castle wants to see um, in the radio is flat 30 for bank 1, flat 70 for bank 2, flat 100 for bank 3. If you don't do that and you forget and leave it in the linear curve like I've done in the past, the governor is going to try to fight the linear curve. So basically we're just going to go bank 1 and we're going to lower this down to 30. Bank 2. Bank 2. We're bumping up to 70. Three. Bank three. We're going to go up to 100. Done. Bank one. Now, if you guys want to play around different head speeds, that is where you go back into the castle tailing with the castle link. You can change head speeds, you can change your spool up rates, everything done through that. So, with the calibrated, if I flip out a throttle hold now, we should have an active motor. So, I like to just unplug everything. 
Um, after the calibration setup, unplugged the backup guard and fired up the flight pack. So radio is back on. We're going to plug in our uh, battery to our Castle Town 120. We should hear it count at six cells and we're ready to fly. Just that simple guys, flip out a throttle hold. Motor idle. Motor off. Motor off. We're done. Time to finish your helicopter and get out to the field. Alright guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. You can do it through my website, www.3dandscalerchelicopters.com. If you liked the video, please comment below share it and until next time guys fly safe